Hello and thank you for tuning in to Embrace My Melon and it's your girl Rochelle and in today's video, yes as you saw by the title, I am going to be showing you guys what foundations I decided to keep inside of my foundation collection. Now recently, if you don't know, I did do a two video declutter of the, of the foundations that I let go of, okay? I had to do a declutter, I had way too many foundations, a lot of them that I was not using, a lot of them that were expired and I had to get rid of them, just had to get rid of them. Now I will make sure to remove Remember to link it above so you guys can go and check those videos out, okay? Because I not only got rid of them, I uh, did tell you what I loved or didn't like about those particular foundations and gave you my recommends on those particular foundations, okay? So if you would like to see what foundations I'm keeping in my collection, please keep on watching. <laughs> All right, and if you have not already subscribed to my channel, come here. Go ahead and click that the button down below, boo. Go ahead and click that button down below. Please and thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get started, okay? So here are the foundations right here. I stood them all up and I'm afraid some are going to fall down. And so let's just put it back down because I can be a little bit clumsy, okay? All right? All right? So let's start with some of the higher end foundations foundations okay so first up we have the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation and skin with um skin care i said skin wear <laughs> skin care okay this is a water light medium coverage natural radiant finish foundation from what i can remember i really and truly did like this foundation it did a heck of a lot better um than the other um it cosmetics um, foundation that I reviewed whew, two plus years ago on my channel because um, my channel is only three years old yeah my channel is only three years old so it was like one that I know that I did at least two years ago minimum two years ago okay but I will say that this one I liked a lot a lot more it lasted a lot more than the other one because the other one was promising um, 24 hour wear I think and it didn't even give me eight so but this one right here I like the color range the color shade the price point was decent from what I can remember and this wasn't bad this one was not bad at all okay okay next up we have Huda we have Huda in the faux filter luminous matte foundation right here I really like this one compared to the um, the original full filter um, foundation. They did an upgrade on that formula, really upgrade on that formula. The other formula where it was full coverage, also just as this is, um, it was kind of flat, like it, you know, as far as the finish goes. It was matte, but it was truly like more of a flat full fill, full, full coverage foundation. But this one right here. If you have not tried it I, and you've tried the other one, you'll like this one a lot better, okay? And I'm in the shade uh, Hot Fudge in this one, okay? All right. Next up, we have the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24-Hour Foundation. Now, I will say this. Did I try it out for 24 hours? No. And I didn't even do a video on this one. No, I didn't even do a video on this one, okay? Um, but I will say this. I like this one, the matte um, Born This Way, better than I like the original Born This Way. And the original Born This Way, I, I don't know what it was. I, I just didn't like it. I I didn't like it for some reason. Even when they ascended their shade range, when Jackie Ina um, helped them curate more shades uh, for women of color, and she did an amazing job, I just didn't like the formula for whatever reason. I might go back to it and and try it but I don't know but I will say that truffle right here and the matte born this way an amazing amazing foundation okay <sighs> then we have Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush flawless foundation I got mine in the shade 16 cool right here um I liked it I just liked it every single time I put this on it's like Yes, like, it's like, like, don't sleep. Like, why are you even questioning it? Now, I will say that the shade range, if I'm not mistaken, could be better. But the price point, actually, for Charlotte Tilbury is not bad at all. I think this was like $39 
forty dollars not a bad price point at all com in comparison to, to a lot of other of the charlotte tilbury products this right here did good okay and i can't wait to try the um the newest charlotte tilbury product that came out i think it was a tinted moisturizer but i could be wrong i can't remember what it was but i am with i am wanting to try that one okay dose of color okay we got dose, dose of color um meet your hue foundation i got mine in the shade 137 deep um i'm keeping this one because truly i only use it a couple of times i only use it a couple of times and from what i can honestly remember off the top of my head i liked the foundation better than i like the concealer and probably because of the shade range i did a blind buy on the concealer online trying to get um a shade because it wasn't uh, a retailer here where i live to buy the concealer so i just brought the foundation but from what i can remember i liked it i liked it i just can't remember how it performed so i said you know what let's just go ahead let's go dig deep you're, you're getting rid of a bunch of stuff let's go back in and let's try this for a solid month before you know you say oh no it was it was crap it was trash whatever get rid of it i, I can't do that because from what i remember i rem i liked it i just can't remember how much i liked it this is a doggone shame uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay and then we have uma we have the uma say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation from what i can remember i like this I really like this. So far from what I also remember, none of Uma's products have let me down. No. None of Uma's products have let me down. I really like Uma's products. So I'm keeping Uma. And I do remember that I brought two of her foundations. One of them was too dark. And I'm going to give that one to my cousin. Yes, I'm giving that one to my cousin because it's a much darker shade. Um, and I think it will do well on her. So I'm going to give that one to my cousin and I'm keeping this one right here. And this one is in the shade Black Pearl T1N. Okay. I also have the Danessa Myricks, okay? This is the Vision Cream Cover 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer right here. If I'm not mistaken, I purchased this um, at the last... Um, Sephora VIB sale, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> but it's more, it's, it, it hasn't been in my collection for not even a full six months, I'll tell you that, okay? So, I keeping this, most definitely keeping this. From what I can remember, um, I don't think the, the shade was that awesome, but I do think that, I do remember that it did a decent job, so, yeah, okay? Okay, and also from Huda, we have the Huda Full Filter Skin Finish Stick Foundation right here. Also in the shade Hot Fudge. I know that I loved, loved the stick foundation. Primarily because I could control the coverage. If I wanted to build it up, I could. If I want to wear it very um, lightweight, light finish on my face, I can most definitely do that also. So I'm, of course, keeping Huda. All right, all right then. Now let's move on over to uh, more drugstore, okay? All right, so of course, in my declutter video, I mentioned this, that I had re-upped on this particular foundation, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. I had to get this again. This is just, this is just, I hate to say, but it's old faithful, you know? you. It's going to give you decent wear, decent coverage. Just, yes. This is, it's, it's a favorite and it's so affordable. You, it's like, why pass it up and not have it in your collection? Like, yeah. <laughs> Another one from Maybelline. We have the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Have not reviewed this yet. We'll be reviewing this within the next couple months. I have so much stuff that I need to review. So this is the ones that you will see me seeing that I have on my agenda to review. I promise you, I will review it. Another one that I will review, if this is the Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream Clear Coverage um, that I have 
right here. I got mine in the shade uh, Sienna, okay? The reason why I picked this one up is that Neutrogena has something that looks like it would fit my complexion. Period. That's that's the reason why I picked this one up. So I have this one um, to review, be reviewed also, okay? So be looking out for that, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Next up, we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh um, Skin Skin Milk right here in the shade 640 Dark. Um, for what I can remember about this particular um, foundation, it's a nourishing foundation. It was very lightweight, very much so a light to medium finish right here um if you like that more natural look more um it was almost like a tinted moisturizer natural glow look you would like this that this is why i kept this one i was like i, I actually really and truly remember liking this right here i've only worn it a few times but i was like i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this <laughs> Alrighty then, another that I loved, that I absolutely loved when I tried it, and I was like, listen, listen, okay? This is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation, okay? This right here was amazing, just amazing. If you love a natural, beautiful glow, yeah, and they have a very, very good shade range. I got mine in the shade Coco right here, but the shade range is really, really good. Really, really good. If you have not tried this and you want, you're looking for a good, natural, radiant uh, drugstore foundation, you would like this. You will most definitely like this, okay? Um, these next two that I'm going to show you, um, crazy enough, they're foundations, but I don't use them as foundations okay we have the juvia's place i am magic um multi um use stick foundations right here i got the shade congo and i also have the shade benign benin excuse me um i use this more as a um highlight shade more than anything and a spot shade more than anything and of course with um congo with this being the darkest shade available in this particular product i use this for contour i like them they're really soft really creamy but i don't use them necessarily as foundations i use them more spot correcting and um uh contouring also just a little bit of highlight okay all righty then also up i have the ordinary the brand the ordinary i remember when these came on the scene and everybody was going goo goo for gaga over these because they were so affordable and so good i got the um coverage foundation and also the serum foundation right here and um i got them both in um 3.2 one is 3.2 no Actually, both of them. I got them both in 3.2 R, okay? And I like them. I really and truly uh, did like them. Um, if you want something that's affordable, that's that's really this, something else. Yes, yet again, that's drugstore and affordable. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Also, we have the Fashion Fair um, Cream to Powder skin foundation if you have not seen my review on this please i remember to link it up above here so you can go and check this out i absolutely love this right here it was something that was kind of a shock for me because it is a cream to powder formula i still saw it as more of a cream than a powder um myself but i really and truly enjoyed seeing that fashion fair was coming back on the scene um, with their particular, um, with their products yet again. And I like this. I, I really and truly like this. And I will be using this again for, you know, th this for me is more of that day-to-day -day go to, you know, because it was a beautiful, beautiful natural finish. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it above so you can go and 
check out that video. <laughs> now this one I did not do a review on because so much time had gone by. I was like, girl, whatever, just just play your makeup. Stop holding on to stuff when you know you're busy, busy and crazy. Life is just not going to permit you to do a video. However, this particular foundation, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation, number one, first and foremost, love. <laughs> love this foundation. This one was really, really good. It was really, really good. I got it in the shade 61P. They have so many shades available in this foundation. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is only $20. $20. Very, very, very affordable. Of course, it's Sephora. It's their brand. Sephora brand is very affordable. Okay. It's almost like, um, if I had to equate it to something, it's almost like um, so, um, Morphe. It's almost like Morphe, you know, but in my opinion, it might be just a little better, you know, in my opinion. Not that I have anything against Morphe and their products. I think their products are well, but this right here. This right here. I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just, this one was good. I was so shocked. I wore this foundation for like a week straight and I would I would put it on like quite literally like a few hours before I was supposed to uh like you know go to sleep and I was like oh I want to play in this make I really and truly like this this one was good this right here really good shade range price point everything good foundation really good foundation okay all right uh let's see oh Givenchy, okay. We have the Givenchy Prism Libra Skin Skin Caring Glow Foundation. Love this foundation. Love this foundation. Love this foundation. Um, I saw it and I was like, well, okay, let's just try it. Let's just see if it's worth anything. I've only had it for roughly. I've had this less than six months. I've had this for less than six months. And every single time I wear it, I'm just like, yes, I remember. I remember why I wanted to try a high-end foundation. And I've just, I've just loved it ever since. Like, I try it on maybe like every other week, every other week. It stays on my vanity because I just, I just love it. I just right here, this one was good. This one was worth every penny. And the price point wasn't that bad. I think I've spent more. I've spent more. <laughs> Next one that I'm about to show you, okay, it's the newest to the um, collection right here. Um, and I'm also wearing it right now. If you want to see that review, I'm going to remember to link it above in the cards. Please go and check out that video. It should be just a few videos before this, if not one, maybe two videos before this okay <laughs> um we have the nars light reflecting foundation right here in the shade agusu okay and i really and truly mm, i'm not gonna tell you how i feel about this foundation you should go and just check out the video boo. is my is my face telling on me about how i feel about this foundation <laughs> all right and the next couple of foundations that i'm about to show you um these have all been in my collection for a while i just not have not gotten around to doing a video on them and i have not tried them out yet so right okay first up we have the urban decay stay naked weightless liquid foundation right here and it is in the shade 81 wy right there next up we have stellar this is the stellar limitless foundation in the shade d02 you can't see that because it's no color or anything like that it's just a generic box also got the um the bite uh beauty uh let's this is change maker um supercharged micellar foundation okay i got this actually inside of the um one of my boxytron boxes right here and they gave me the shade d 
185. I will say I'm a little worried about that shade, but we will we'll see. We will we will see. You know, and then last but not least, two that I have tried. I mean, excuse me, I have not tried. Two that I picked up right before Becca was um right, I should say right when Becca was um going out of business. Um, we have the Becca Light Shifter Doing Tint right here. I got it in two different shades. I got it in the shade, um, I believe it's called Boralis, and the shade 5.5. And then I have Luna in 6.5 right here. Now, I do believe that 5.5 is just a little too light for me. Yeah, that's a little bit too light for me in comparison to um the 6.5 the 6.5 i think will do a lot better yeah i think the 6.5 will do a lot better for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the 5.5 i'm going to give this to my give this to my sister she's a person that doesn't like a lot of product on her face and i think that since this is a doing tint i think she will like something that's just a little bit more lightweight than a full-on foundation so i'm gonna be trying this out also okay and yeah that is it that is it for my foundation collection right here the reasons why i kept some of them and why i'm going to be revisiting a lot of them because i just can't remember <laughs> which is terrible which is so so terrible and of course then we have the bunch that i have and that i have not even tried yet yeah yeah but hey when i bring it out you're gonna know why because it's just been sitting here and i haven't had time to try it it's a dog on shame. That's that's it's a dog on shame. Dog on shame. Okay. <laughs> but that is it. That is all for this video. I think you got so much watching. Please, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, please. And thank you. And if you like me just a little bit, just a little bit, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please. And thank you. I think you got so much watching. Remember, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and please continue to stay safe. Bye. <laughs>